welcome to my classroom design of bridges hi everyone this is lakshmi from snit adur discuss about the design of plate girder bridge mainly the design of welded plate girder bridge in the previous sessions computed the step 1 to step 9 and in this session from step 10 to step 12 design of welded plate girder bridge in this step 10 connection between flange and work okay this is the figure uh, plate girder okay and this is flange and this is work the size of the flange is 700 by 50 so we have to connect the flange with the work by using fillet weld on either side so uh, the maximum shear force at the junction of the work and web and the flange is given by shear force is equal to tau equal to v into a into y bar by i where v the shear force a area of the flange and y bar and this is the y bar and i i x x in this question v is shear force 1 to 2 1.5 kilo newton and area the area of the uh, flange it is 700 by 50 It is three five zero 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 mm square and y bar and this is the y bar distance. It is eight twenty five mm. Why? Because the uh, depth of the web is thousand six hundred. Then i x x it is five one eight one into ten raised to four mm raised to four. Substitute all these values in this equation, this maximum shear force equation. Then the answer is six eighty one newton per mm. Okay. Then uh, the connection is a fillet weld continuous on either side. Then the strength of the weld, the size of the weld is s. Size of the weld is denoted as s. Then the strength of the weld equal to either side. So it is two into point seven s. Point seven s is the TE that is effective thickness. It is point seven s into the permissible stress that is one or two. Then it is one forty two point eight s newton per mm. equating this to the maximum shear force then we will get the size of the welder that the maximum shear force is 681 equating this to this this 142.8 is then the size of the weld is 4.76 mm okay 4.76 mm use 6 mm fillet weld step 11 design of intermediate stiffener Design of intermediate stiffener. As the ratio d by t is greater than eighty five, the vertical stiffness need to be provided. Check d by t. D by t equal to thousand six hundred divided by twelve. It is one thirty three. It is greater than eighty five. So the vertical stiffness are required. This is the figure, and this is flange, and this is verb. Okay, and this is the intermediate stiffener. Okay. Then the spacing of intermediate stiffener. This is the spacing. One stiffener here and one vertical stiffener here, and this is the spacing. Okay, the spacing of stiffener equal to point three three d to one point five d. Point three three into thousand six hundred to one point five into thousand six hundred. It is five thirty to two thousand four hundred mm. So adopt. Adopt. Thousand five hundred mm spacing. That is C is equal to thousand five hundred mm spacing. This is C. Okay. Then check the spacing. The spacing should not exceed two seventy times the thickness of the web. That is C less than two seventy Tw. Tw is twelve. Okay. Then it is thousand five hundred less than three two four zero. Hence safe. Minimum moment of inertia to be supplied by the stiffener. Okay, the minimum moment of inertia to be supplied by the stiffener and is given by I equal to we have an equation one point five d cube t cube by c square. D it is thousand six hundred and t it is tall and c the spacing of the stiffener it is thousand five hundred. Substitute all this in. This equation, the answer is four seventy one into ten raised to four mm raised to four. Okay, then using ten mm thick plate. Okay, the the, the thickness of the plate is ten mm. 
so the outstand of stiffener should not be greater than 12 t okay outstand this is outstand should not be greater than 12 t the thickness is 10 then outstand should not be greater than 12 t check it uh, 12 t equal to 10, 12 12 into 10 it is uh, 120 mm so adopt a plate plate of 10 mm by 120 mm okay the thickness of the uh, web is uh, 10 and the plate is 10 and the outstand this is outstand this is 120 okay then the moment of inertia provided moment of inertia provided uh, by the stiffener that is with respect to the face of the web that is i equal to with respect to the face of the web so b d cube by 3 b it is 10 and d it is 120 it is 7 uh, 5 76 into 10 raised to 4 mm raised to 4 it is greater than the minimum moment of inertia it is 471 into 10 raised to 4 mm raised to 4 therefore the moment of inertia provided that is 576 into 10 raised to 4 mm raised to 4 here the plate uh, uh, adopt the plate 10 mm by 120 10 mm thick plate with the outstand 120 so the moment of inertia provided is 576 into 10 raised to 4 therefore the moment of inertia provided is more than the requirement hence safe next is connection of vertical stiffener to the web okay connection of the vertical stiffener to the web and this is the web and this is the flange okay step 12 connection of vertical stiffener to web actually this vertical stiffener and web the world connecting is supposed to bear the shear force at the interface so the shear force is given by 125 t square by h this is the equation for finding out the shear on weld this is 125 into 12 t is 12 square thickness of the web by h h is the outstand uh, it is 120 this is the outstand 120 and spacing is this 1500 and this is the web and this is the flange here this is the flange and this is the web and this is the vertical stiffener intermediate stiffener uh, okay and this is the weld this is the connection weld okay okay we have to find out the size of the weld and a length of the weld okay uh, and the shear on weld is 125 t square by h it is 150 kilo newton per meter it is 150 newton per m okay then size of the weld size is denoted by s okay then equating uh, this to uh, shear shear on weld shear on weld is 150 150 equal to 0 0.7 s into 105 102 it is a permissible uh, stress okay then s is equal to 2.0 2.09 mm but the minimum size of the world is 5 mm okay minimum size of the world is 5 mm so we have to uh, given 5 mm then the effective length of the world effective length of the world and this is the length length of the world world is 10 t it is 120 mm so therefore the size is uh, 2.09 but the minimum is 5 mm and the effective length is 120 mm so adopt 160 mm length 5 mm size okay adopt 160 mm long 5 mm size fillet weld alternatively on either side this is the figure okay either side means this is one side and this is one side this is the intermediate stiffener okay this outstand is 120 okay and uh, size of the weld is 5 mm okay fillet weld alternatively and uh, this is the length that is 160 okay and this is the connection of vertical stiffener to web uh, in this session okay in this session step 10 step 11 and step 12 in step 10 connection between the flange and web and in step 11 the design of intermediate stiffener and in step 12 the connection between uh, connection of vertical stiffeners with the web this is the web with the uh, the connection of vertical stiffeners to the web for more references I refer these textbooks of bridges thank you